According to Barclay Hedge, Jarrett Davis was second best performing Forex fund manager in the world, with a return of 916.59% over a six year period. His secret? Following central banks and their policies. In this exclusive interview, he teaches the specifics. Watch and prosper. Hello guys, my name is Romas and I am operating partner in arguably the largest and most respected Forex reviews website on planet, forexpeacearmy.com. We are here in London at the offices of Small Trader Management where Jared is a partner and a senior training mentor. Jared is also head of Forex at Smart Global Management where he works closely with the trading team to ensure the performance remains consistently profitable. Jared's primary focus remains on creating strategies and analytics for trading the Forex market for small managed account clients, but he is also actively involved in teaching their junior traders how to profitably trade Forex. Guys, you are extremely lucky to be watching this interview, because through this interview and beyond it, Jared will be putting you through the exact same institutional education that he puts his junior traders through, without charging a dime for it. Jared, it just sounds too good to be true. What's the catch? Okay, Romas. Well, uh, like you say, you're absolutely right. Everyone watching this will get the exact same institutional trading that our junior traders get. And as long as they follow the process as we lay it out, they will have all the knowledge and skills they need to make money trading Forex. And of course, it absolutely won't cost them a penny. Now, there's no catch, but there are three distinct benefits that will come out of this for both myself um, and our company. So first of all, the first benefit is I believe we're the first professional trading firm to share our training with retail traders. So obviously there's going to be a huge demand. Um, we're going to get massive exposure on this, tens of thousands of people. And some of those people will want to invest money with us in the managed account program. Secondly, apart from the promised education, everyone's also going to get two weeks free access to the exact same tools that our professional traders use here which include an institutional news feed, our own analyst research, and of course trade alerts from the biggest investment banks in the world. Now, I'm sure during that trial that most people will be able to see a huge difference that those tools make to their trading. And even though this, the news feed alone costs our firm $8,000 per month, because of the volume of people that we're gonna get into this, we can actually reduce that cost and sell it to each one of those people for just $300 per month, which of course, you know, with all those people added together, adds an extra healthy revenue stream. And the third benefit is, you know, I'm convinced after putting everyone through this, the exact same education that our traders get here, many of them will become profitable and will want to manage money for clients and end up, you know, maybe coming down here and working with us um, in what we do. Now, aside from those obvious benefits for us, I also genuinely think it's a cool thing you know, to share the, you know, the secrets of professional institutions with normal everyday people so that they can at least have a level playing field for making money. Even though this has actually put me into conflict with certain institutions who, uh, shall we say, well, uh, would rather keep these things private. Oh really? Mm. So, well, Barclay Hedge, you, you probably heard the, they're the ones who gave me the number two ranking. So, Barclay Hedge, they gave me the number two ranking. Uh, and at the time, that was a really big deal for me because um, the traders that I was being ranked against were quite a big deal in their field. So, for example, the guy who was ranked number four has advised the major central banks. The guy who was number five used to trade for Credit Suisse uh, and Morgan Stanley. And the guy who was ranked number six also used to work at Morgan Stanley and he used to work at UBS. And while he was at UBS, he ran a team that managed $36 billion. So they ranked me above all these guys. Um, but the problem was they don't allow traders to display their rankings or performance to anyone other than institutional investors. So when I started publishing mine, obviously it ended up in quite a few public places. So Barclay Hedge basically told me that um, I'd violated their rules and they would no longer be ranking me or tracking my performance. And to be honest, I probably did break their rules, but it was only to prove that my returns are real and genuine. I'm very sorry to hear about your troubles with Barclays, Jarrod. Now, could you tell us how you got into Forex in the first place? Yeah, of course. So, that's what you guys are here for. So, I was in my early 20s. Um, I was looking for a new business, one that would give me more money, one that would give me uh, more freedom, most importantly. And so I got into Forex trading. Now, at the start, like most people watching this, I'm sure, I was scammed. I invested into, you know, frauds and fakes and whatever you want to call it. Um, but then, eventually, over time, I met a friend of a friend, and he was a trader, 
And basically, he learned his skills at a firm very similar to this here. Um, and in fact, the building where we are right now, that, that firm are based just 10 minutes walk from us here. Um, now, at the time, he made a lot of money uh, because he, had, he drove a nice car. Um, he lived in a nice house. He went away a lot on holidays. So what I did is I began to emulate his trading approach, eventually became profitable. Uh, then I started managing money. And then I got ranked by Barclay Hedge. And here I am today. Okay, John, I'm sure everybody watching this would love to replicate your trading success. So could you share your secret? Of course. Okay, so uh, there's a famous saying from Galileo, and he said that all truths are easy to understand once they're discovered. The point is to discover them. Now, what I'm going to share with you and everyone watching this isn't, it's not some secret um, that I've found or, you know, discovered. It's basically just simple common sense that all institutional investors um, use, but to the average retail trader, it could actually be a total life changer. So, for everyone watching this, and for everyone who wants to know the secret, you know, to the biggest, you know, secret to my forex trading profitability, what I'd like to get everyone to do is who's watching this is get a piece of paper and a pen, and make a list of the eight major currencies uh, around the world. So we've got a U.S. dollar, Canadian dollar, British pound. We've got Euro, we've got Swiss franc, we've got Japanese yen, we've got Australian dollar, and of course, we've got New Zealand dollar. Now, go ahead and write next to each currency what the central bank of that particular country is going to do next with their interest rate, okay? So, there are only three possible answers. The first answer that you could have is a hike, which means the central bank is planning to increase rates next. The second is a cut, which means the central bank is planning to lower interest rates next. And the third is neutral, which means that the central bank is happy with its current rate and it's not planning to either cut or hike in the near future. Now, for anyone having trouble doing this exercise, it's basically because you don't know the answers. Now, if that's the case, you've just discovered the single most important reason why you're losing money in Forex and why most likely you'll continue to lose money for as long as you trade. At any given time, both myself and any other serious institutional investor knows the answer to that question. And when trading, we try and buy the currencies of countries that are planning to hike next against currencies of countries that are planning to cut next. Now the reason we do that is because the future interest rate of each country is the single most important driver behind the currency's value. Because the big boys will move their money into that currency, not only for the purpose of collecting yield, but also for the purposes of appreciation of that currency against the other currencies. So if you think about it, if you know that investors are going to be buying a certain currency and the value of that currency is going to go up in value, you're naturally going to want to try and buy it as well, right? So this obviously is an overly simplistic explanation. So uh, if I was going to compare it to it, trying to explain the rules of tennis, it would be like me saying that in order to win at tennis, you've got to make sure that you hit the ball with the center of your racket, um, above the net and into the court boundaries. And although that would be the single most important secret to winning the game of tennis, there are still many more nuances to discuss, um, and, you know, and you still need to spend a lot of time practicing. So, um, what we're gonna do, in order to make money at Forex, you must know and follow regularly the events that will contribute to the shifts in monetary policies of the eight major central banks. And there, of course, as I've said, there's many nuances that you need to learn and understand which might seem overwhelming at first, but with time, they will become second nature. So, let's go through, uh, just to kind of try and simplify it even more, let's give a few examples of the kind of things we're looking for you know, as professional traders on a daily basis. So, this is the kind of example we look at. First of all, let's imagine a country is planning to hike their interest rate next. But some economic data that the central bank watches changes, so for example, employment data or inflation, and the market feels that the hike is going to be delayed longer than they originally anticipated. The currency is likely to weaken in the short term. But as the price falls, longer term investors are then likely to step in, drive the price back in its original direction again, because ultimately nothing has changed um, and there'll still be a hike at some point. Now, another example is if a central bank is neutral. Now, they might feel that the currency is still too strong. So that what they'll do is they'll publicly state their concern along with a threat to act if it continues. And then all of the upside movements on the currency will be much more limited in that case. And the best way of trading it is to sell it on the rallies. 
And the final example is probably one you're a lot very familiar with, particularly after the financial crisis, is if a central bank is conducting quantitative easing or QE. So if they announce plans to expand their QE program, either in the short or the long term, then that currency is very likely to depreciate. Obviously, the exact opposite is true. If they announce plans to reduce QE, the currency will then appreciate. So if I was going to identify the biggest you know, secret, um, although calling it a secret is not really accurate, I prefer to call it um, the single most important factor that has contributed uh, and, con and continues to contribute to my profitability and also the profitability of all of the professional traders that I work with, is understanding what the central banks are not just doing right now, but what they're planning to do in the future. If you can figure that out, then your trading will improve immeasurably. John, I've seen some crazy price movements during central bank announcement, but by the time I've learned what happened, the movie seemed to be already over? Yeah, that's a very good point, Romas. Basically, what we just discussed, um, the currency uh, price trends in relation to monetary policies of the central banks, they actually unfold over a period of days, weeks and months, so over a slower period of time. Now, what you just mentioned is um, something called risk events. And I'm going to teach everyone about that. We'll teach everyone about risk events. But just so you know, there are less risky and less nerve-wracking ways uh, to make money trading Forex than trying to kind of get in the market within milliseconds of these events coming and trying to catch those spikes as they happen during the risk events. But we'll, we'll go into that later on. Okay, John, what you said makes perfect sense, but it leaves many unanswered questions, such as where does one learn about which economic indicators central banks care about, what kind of readings they'll consider as good, and what kind of readings of those indicators they'll consider as bad. How much time does one need to commit each day to following the economics and trading from them? Okay, good question. So what I'm going to do, or good questions, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with your last question. Um, now you have got to understand that obviously I'm a professional trader here, uh, and trading is my passion. So I'm constantly watching the markets and placing trades when I see good opportunities. Now, that happens even when I'm not here in the office. So, for example, um, I can check the prices constantly. I can check the news feeds on my phone. Um, and I'm not doing that out of some you know, job obligation because I have to, because that's, you know, that's what I have to do. It's actually something I genuinely enjoy. So I'm always involved. I'm always doing it. It's kind of like my life. Now, having said that, I do have a friend who's been trading the fundamentals for more than 10 years now. And he's trading a substantial account of his own. And what he does is he just checks the price every morning when he wakes up and some evenings before he goes to sleep. And he places trades with fixed stops and fixed takes profits. So in, in essence, he's only working, if you want to call it that, about 30 to 45 minutes each day. Now, my personal belief is that if you understand the big fundamental picture, you can place trades and be profitable. Whether you want a more active involvement like me or whether you want to be a little bit more passive um, like him. At the end of the day, you know, you're the boss and you set your own schedule. Now, in terms of um, your other questions, what I'm going to do, and uh, the best way to answer them, is to give everyone watching this um, free access to the exact same institutional fundamentals course that I put the junior traders through. So to do that, all they have to do is enter their email address into the field below this video or send an email to gift at jarrettdavis.com and they'll get an automated response giving them instant access to the course. Um, now this course will answer all those questions that you asked me. Um, it will also establish in them, you know, all the people that take it, the necessary foundations about the institutional fundamentals of Forex and the other markets that affect Forex. So once they go through that course, we're then going to give them free access to the full training program, which reveals everything else they need to become profitable. This sounds great, Jared. Thank you for making such a resistible offer. I'm sure most, if not all, of our listeners will take you up on it. Now, let me ask you something else. Clearly, the junior traders that work with you are profitable. And if you put our listeners through the exact same education that you put your junior traders through for free, many of them will hopefully become profitable as well. But many of them will have very small trading accounts. How can they break into the money management business and become as successful as you, assuming that they don't have any more money to invest other than a few hundred dollar trading account? Okay, that's a good question. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, do another interview. And in that interview, we're going to provide, or I'm going to provide a complete step-by-step -step plan of how anyone can start with just a few hundred dollars and within two or three years end up basically managing money in a fund. Um, but the key is they won't have to spend any money outside of the income they've generated from their trading. 
and everyone will get that interview with the plan as soon as they've completed the Institutional Fundamentals course. Wow, that would be fantastic. Guys, Jared is the most authentic and real Forex expert I know, whose trading approach I personally follow and I know from first-hand experience that once you go through his 3-hour Institutional Fundamental course and then his main training program, you'll know everything he knows. Of course, you won't have his experience, but in terms of knowledge, you'll have everything. Jared, thank you for inviting us here today. And thanks everyone for watching. If you still haven't, put your email below or just send a blank email to gift at jaredavis.com. Watch Jared's free hour institutional fundamental course and we'll see you all on the other side where we'll continue this interview and give you Jared's main training program. Thank you for watching and please comment, like and share this video with other forex traders. Because this video and the two gifts that follow will very likely transform the profitability of their trading as it will yours. Thanks for coming in Romas and uh, thanks to everyone for watching, I uh, hope you enjoyed it.